changing climate affects everyone. To address the rapidly intensifying environmental, economic and social consequences of climate change, we need diverse voices, including women and girls. And women and girls are stepping up to the climate challenge as powerful agents of change. The UN Global Climate Action Awards recognize women-led climate solutions around the world. Across sub-Saharan Africa, young women from marginalized farming communities are trained to become champions of sustainable agriculture. The Campaign for Female Education's project helps these young women improve the productivity, sustainability and profitability of farming in their communities. The Climate Smart Agricultural Guide program is about young women going back to their communities and harnessing what they've now learned, the modern knowledge about climate, about what causes it, but also harnessing the indigenous knowledges and saying, how do we help the resilience and the coping in our communities? particularly given that we work in rural communities, where communities are live off the land, where they rely on the land for income, for resources, for their food and everything. And this then impacts on whether a girl can go to school or not. It is very important to share what I've learned into, to other women, so that they can grow their own crops, to have food secure, and they can have their own money so that they can send their children to school. In the United States, Mothers Out Front has mobilized over 24,000 mothers across the country by training and empowering them to advocate for a livable climate for their children. One particular evening when I was reading a book to my daughter who was then four years old about coral reefs, and I suddenly realized that nothing in the book would she ever see because all the world's coral reefs are predicted to die in her lifetime. And it was the first time that I viewed the climate crisis through the lens of a mother. We are building a cross-class, multiracial movement of moms across the country. And those teams of mothers decide what it is they want to work on, and they drive campaigns at the local, state, and national levels focused on moving from dirty to clean energy. It is a very much of a locally rooted approach to organizing, um, but one that is designed to scale. Indian NGO Mahila Housing Sua Trust is on a mission to organize and empower women living in slums. So far, the project has trained 1,500 women to become climate sathis who communicate with local communities about climate change and conduct audits to help slash their energy costs. People are more aware about shocks like the tsunamis or the earthquake, but people are not aware about long-term abstract stresses that are going to play around in urban areas because of climate change. And for India, those are actually the increase of heat stress, water scarcity, vector borne disease, and flooding and inundation. It is abstract. Uh, but it is also a potent danger. And I think in that sense also, because climate change is going to have an intergenerational impact, uh, involvement of women and adolescent girls is very, very important because by involving them, you are ensuring that, you know, whatever work you are doing encompasses uh, generations. One woman is leading the way in Israel and Gibraltar as the co-founder and CEO of a world-leading project to generate clean energy from the ocean. The company uses an innovative technology to help transform the world's energy mix and assists in the fight against climate change. EcoWave Power's technology is fully modular and scalable. So for example, a 50 megawatt station will be 50 modules of one megawatt each. In every country or city in the world, uh, there's usually breakwaters and piers and jetties and other types of uh, non-use structures. And they're not used for anything other than breaking the waves. And we basically connect floaters to the external part of these breakwaters and turn them into a source of clean electricity. 
I used to come into the conference room about to present my wave energy power station and then people went espresso please. Everybody were sure if there, that if there is a woman in the room, she's probably there as somebody's secretary or assistant. And this is something that has to change. The female entrepreneurs that get to a position of power where they can make an impact need to help other women as well to achieve different types of goals. Women from around the world who are playing a leadership role by tackling the climate challenge head on. The 2019 Women for Results Winning Climate Projects. Shining a light to show there's momentum for change. Change for good.